What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. Today's video, as you guys can tell, is my first Christmas video of the year. I know I'm starting early, but I just cannot contain my excitement this year. I don't know about you guys, but 2020 has just been probably the worst year in everyone's lives so far. And I feel like Christmas might just be one of those moments that kind of saves it in the last minute. I'm really putting my faith into Christmas. I feel like it just makes everything better. So today I'm starting off my Christmas series. I feel like this year more than ever, we definitely need to just take a chill pill. We need to reflect back on the year and just be grateful for everything that we do have. And I feel like Christmas is the perfect time to do that. Now, today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, is a little bit of a gift guide. I'm gonna start easing into the Christmas videos and I thought this would be a really great idea. Today's video is actually a stocking filler gift guide for him and for her. And this is actually from a particular store that we have here in the UK called b and I appreciate that not everyone watching this video will have a B&M in their country, but you might have something equivalent to that. It's basically a store that's really affordable. It's just on the high street and they have all sorts of stuff. They have food, they have makeup, they have like gadgets, gifts, things like that. And this year they have actually gotten really good stuff for Christmas. So I thought I would do a little gift guide from that store. Like I said, the shop may not be available in every country that you guys are watching from. However, all these gift ideas, I'm pretty sure you can get from any store. So I hope you guys get some ideas from this video and enjoy it. If you guys are brand new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys wanna stick around, make sure you guys subscribe down below. But I guess without further ado, let's get on into the video. All right guys, so we're gonna start off with the gifts for her. Now I just wanna put a disclaimer, this gift guide is honestly for anyone. You don't have to be a female to receive these and enjoy these. For example, my fiance Matt would probably enjoy like most of these things <laughs> that are in the her kind of section. Also, I just wanna show you guys the stockings that I purchased from b &M, which I'm really excited about. Look how amazing these look. They actually have a little initial. So I got a little G for my mom and I just love them. They're actually really nice quality and I think they were only like two or three pounds. I just love doing stockings for people. I just feel like it's a really nice opportunity to get them the little knickknacks and the little gifts that might not necessarily be classed as like a main gift or anything. So the stocking you could fill with absolutely anything, their favorite chocolate, their favorite crisps, anything that they really enjoy. And it's also a nice opportunity to sometimes get them some like gifts that are a little bit more jokey and novelty too. So the first thing on the list that I have is actually a little reed diffuser. This one, I can literally smell through the box. It smells amazing. It's in a scent called gingerbread cookie. And this is a scented reed diffuser. It includes six rattan sticks. I just love the packaging. Look how amazing that looks. This was only three pounds and they had loads of different scents. They also had like a winter one. I absolutely love reed diffusers. I know personally, I would love to receive one for Christmas. So I feel like a lot of females in your life probably would too. It's just a really nice way to spice up your home without, you know, splashing the cash. And it's always nice to have a nice smelling house. Oh my God, it smells like actual gingerbread cookies. Do you know what? I'm gonna go back and get one for myself. It is so good. So yeah, a little scent like this, I think it's an amazing gift. It doesn't break the bank. It's really affordable and it fits perfectly in a little stocking. Okay, the next gift idea for a stocking for her is actually this. Now you're probably wondering, Roxy, what in the hell is that? So I was just walking past the end of the shelf and I just saw this randomly and I was like, what in the world is this? And I quickly realized it's a massager, like a body massager. I know it's a bit random. I know it's a bit like novelty, but honestly, look at this it extends. So like you could do your own back if you wanted to. Oh my God, that actually feels so nice. <laughs> I tried and tested this in the shop on my leg and I can confirm it felt amazing. So if there's anyone out there that likes to well, <laughs> I was gonna say massage themselves, but that sounds a bit dodgy. If there's anyone out there that likes to, you know, relieve some tense muscles that are hard to reach and the boyfriend or whoever is in your house, doesn't want to massage your back, then this is great. This was only two pounds and honestly, Again, I'm gonna get one for myself. I don't know why I didn't. I just think it's something a bit different that people wouldn't usually think to like gift someone. But honestly, if I received one of these, I would be so happy. Oh my God, that actually feels so <laughs> relaxing. There is so many opportunities with this. You could do your own back, 
as it extends quite far, you could also do someone's back that you don't particularly like or they smell quite bad. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but honestly, this is great. I would 100% love receiving this in a stocking. All right, so that is, what, five pounds down? So I feel like, you know, we got two things for five pounds. We still got 15 pounds to go. We're doing pretty good. The next item I have is a little face mask. I feel like these go down a treat in a stocking. This was actually only a pound and it's pretty Christmassy. The actual sheet mask has a little reindeer face on it, which I think is just so cool. I mean, it's always nice to pamper yourself. So when you receive a gift like this, you kind of have no excuse. It's actually a pomegranate face mask for brighter looking skin. I love this, it was only a pound, you literally can't go wrong. All right, so the next item I have on my list is probably more for like the adults, if you have a mum that likes to drink wine or something like that, then this gift would be perfect. First of all, look at the packaging. Isn't it just so luxurious looking? Would you believe that this was only four pounds? This little wine glass was only four pounds. I'm not gonna get this out because I don't wanna rip the packaging because I do actually wanna gift this to someone, but it just says drinking wine, feeling fine, it's it's got a little like gold um, foot. No, what is this called? The neck. Is it the neck of the wine glass? I have no clue. I literally don't drink, so I wouldn't have a clue. But the wine glass is very large and I just feel like for whoever likes to drink wine, this would be the perfect gift. Now with this one, I might actually have a harder time putting this in my stocking, so if you're gonna get something like this, maybe get a larger stocking. All right, the next item that I personally think is a great little gift that you can just buy in pretty much any store that would be perfect as a stocking filler is actually a dry shampoo. I don't know about you guys, but around Christmas time, I kind of, um forget to wash my hair because of how much fun I'm having. So a dry shampoo is definitely a must to revive your greasy roots. And ladies, put your hands up if you feel the same. So here I have the Batiste Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo in the Floral and Flirty Blush Scent. This is my favorite one. It doesn't really leave any residue or anything. So honestly, this is a really great gift and it's really useful as well. So this was only two pounds. And again, it fits perfectly in the stocking. Look at that. Now up to this point, I was keeping within my 20 pound budget pretty well, but it all kind of went out the window when I saw these two. So technically I'm gonna show you both, but you could just count one or the other as like the 20 pound budget. I just couldn't decide, so I got both. So these two sets cost exactly the same. They were four pounds each. So the first one is actually a little hot chocolate and mini marshmallow set. I just love this. I think a mug is an amazing gift for someone. I feel like this is such a universal gift that anyone can enjoy no matter what age they are. I mean, we're all like, you know, drinking tea and hot chocolate around this time of year. I think the cutest thing about it is that it has a little whisk. How adorable is that? It's just like a little metal whisk to you know mix your chocolate into the mug and it also has this really adorable like sweater kind of covering for the mug this does obviously come off so you can wash the mug but it's just really nice to hold and like just not burn your hand you know this is actually so cozy and look at the little button the button is literally so adorable so yeah I got the blue one but there was also other colors I just really think that a mug is a great gift for anyone especially if it's got like a hot chocolate mix in there or something I just feel like it just makes it for the perfect little gift. And then the other little set that I have that I just literally couldn't choose between the two is actually a little candle and sock set. So this is the candle on the bottom and then this is the little rolled up pair of socks. I just think that's so cute and cozy. Again, perfect gift because around this time, we're probably more likely to light candles. And of course we're staying more at home. So it's just nice to have something burning in the background. And then the socks are just a must. I feel like if you don't have some cozy socks around Christmas time, is it even Christmas? Again, this little gift set only cost four pounds, so very, very affordable, definitely within loads of people price ranges, and it is definitely one of those things that anyone would appreciate. And then the last thing I have for her is actually a little body perfume slash spray. This is actually a perfume mist. Now this is from the brand Miss So, and honestly, I love this brand. They have such amazing smelling sprays. I've never smelled this one before. When I smelled it, I was shook. This literally smells like Christmas. It smells of vanilla fudge milkshake. Do I need to say anything else? Oh my god. 
That smells so good. I literally want to eat this. That's how good it smells. So as this was three pounds, this actually put me one pound under the budget. I feel like I did so well. I must have miscalculated something in the shop. I feel like I could have got another mask or something because I still had a pound to spend. But yes, this smells amazing. It's called Twilight Kiss. If you guys happen to go to B&M, go try this. And there was two cents, I think, but this one smelled way better. So that was everything for the Hurt stocking fillers. I couldn't really fit everything in there. I'm just gonna level with you guys. Everything was a bit too large. I didn't really think that through. But obviously this video is just more for you guys to get ideas of what kind of stocking fillers you can buy. And now moving on to his stocking fillers. I feel like men are just, in general, really hard to shop for around Christmas. Let me know if you guys feel the same, but I just never know what to get my dad, what to get my fiance. It's just so difficult. But to my surprise, I actually found some pretty decent stocking fillers for men for very, very affordable prices. Although looking at my little stash, I didn't actually manage to get as many items as I did for her. I don't know why that is. Maybe men's stuff is just more expensive. All right, so the first thing I got was actually a really cool gift that I found that I feel like could be, you know, for like a little brother or I don't know, anyone that likes gaming really. So this is the item. It's a bit more of a novelty kind of item, maybe like a gadget, but this was three pounds and this is the eSports Gamer Putty. At first I was like, what the hell is this? Do you like use it to clean in between your buttons or something but actually it's like a squishy toy i personally have done a little bit of gaming recently myself like since lockdown i've really gotten into playing call of duty and warzone and that kind of stuff so i kind of understand what this is for basically when you're like hardcore playing your hand can cramp up quite a bit and i've suffered with this so this is basically just a little putty that you can squeeze in between your intense gaming and it's just supposed to you know relieve stress relieve the tension in your hand muscles and just work it. And yeah, I just thought this was a bit different. A really nice like novelty, but still kind of useful gift. Like I said, it was three pounds, which I think maybe is a little bit overpriced for what it is. Like it's basically just slime, but hopefully it'll come useful to whoever I gift this to. Now the next item I found is another sort of like gaming kind of thing. Um, it's actually a card game. In B&M, they have so many different card games. They had a lot of like trivia, trivial pursuit, those kinds of games. A lot of like quizzes, TV, quizzes, sports quizzes. So honestly, there's something for everyone, but I found this. This is the millionaire card game. And as soon as I saw this, I just knew I had to get this for my fiance's dad. He loves a millionaire and like the classic kind of game show. This was actually a big chunk of my budget. It was four pounds. It was probably the priciest thing of the whole thing. This was actually a big chunk of my budget. It was actually four pounds, which you wouldn't think for a card game, right? I feel like this is one of the reasons why I didn't manage to get as many things for the men's stocking because they were like all three or four pounds. Anyway, I feel like a game like this will be perfect to play at Christmas. It'll give you something to do with the family. So again, this would be an amazing gift for someone who likes card games. All right, the next item is chocolate. Chocolate is a must at Christmas. I feel like if you don't receive chocolate, it's a sad Christmas. So I have this little set of chocolates. This is by Guinness. These are the mini pints, dark and white chocolate with creamy Guinness beer flavored center. I just think this is so cute for like a dad or a boyfriend or anyone that loves beer. Let's be honest, it's usually the dads that just love beer. So I thought this would be a great gift for my dad. It just has a little stocking filler, a little sum sum. And this was three pounds. So again, very affordable. How many chocolates do you actually get in here? Is it nine? I think it's nine. I just thought this was like the perfect size. It's not too big, it's not too bulky. It fits perfectly in a stocking. So definitely an amazing gift. All right guys, moving on to the next stocking filler. This one I feel like is more for the daredevils in your family or your friends because this is actually a fiery chili cracker. This was two pounds, which I just honestly couldn't believe because it's so cute. Inside you actually have a vicious and delicious hot sauce. So this contains two different sauces, a chipotle hot sauce and a garlic hot sauce. I feel like a guy that loves a bit of spice, a bit of heat would love this. And also the packaging is so cool. It's very manly. Honestly, for two pounds, you cannot go wrong. They had loads of different like sets. Some were a little bit more expensive than others. This was one of the more affordable like hot sauce kind of sets. So the two pounds definitely saved my 20 pound budget. I think I did really well with this one. The next item I feel like is a given. Can we just say this out loud now? If you don't receive a Lynx gift set, 
Is it even Christmas? Honestly, this is such a big thing in the UK. I don't really know if it is in any other country, so let me know in the comments. Do you guys gift Lynx gift sets to the men in your life or do you receive them? Let me know. For example, my fiance Matt has literally received a Lynx gift set from his dad every single year. It's kind of become a joke now. Literally before he even opens the gift, he just rattles it, he looks at the size and he can instantly tell that it's gonna be a Lynx gift set. But honestly, you can't go wrong with a bit of Lynx. Like this smells amazing. Amazing. Obviously, there's loads of different scents you could go for. You could go for Lynx Africa. I went for the Lynx Black. I just felt like the packaging looks a little bit more premium as well. And this set is really nice. It actually comes with a body spray and a body wash. They're both full size. This was actually only three pounds. Could you believe that? Like genuinely, this is so affordable, but it's a really nice gift that I feel like anyone would like to receive. All right, for the next one, we're going back to the alcohol. I feel like an alcoholic sort of beverage is great as a gift around Christmas. Obviously people are preparing to be really festive. They're preparing for New Year's Eve. So alcohol is always a good one, but only if you're over 18 or 21 in the US, I think. Is that right? Is it 21? I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what I was thinking with this one. It's definitely not gonna fit in a stocking filler, but this is just the thing that I got for one of my family members. Obviously you don't have to get this particular thing, but I got this giant pint of beer with a beer bottle inside it. Guess how much this was, you guys. Literally guess right now in the comments. What would you pay for this? This, bearing in mind, is literally the, so well, actually bigger than my head. This is probably the biggest glass I think I've ever held in my life. Okay, have you guys guessed how much this is? This was four pounds. Four pounds, like that's so good. The pint is massive. If anyone can drink that whole pint in one go, I applaud you. But it comes with a really nice beer, it's called Wersteiner. I think it's a German beer. Yes, this is a German beer. I feel like my dad is gonna love this. Even though it doesn't fit in his stocking, it's a great gift, it's really affordable. Obviously you don't have to get something this big, but you know, just an alcoholic beverage will do. And now the very last item, which actually put me a few pence under my budget because this wasn't even a full pound. This was only 89p. And that is a little box of sweethearts. If you guys aren't from the UK, these sweets are just very, very classic and they're just timeless. Everyone loves sweethearts. The packaging is really cute. You can wrap it or you can just pop it in the stocking. It's a nice size, it bulks it up. These are actually my fiance's dad's favorite, so I decided to purchase some for him. Honestly, any type of sweet that is like the favorite of the person that you're gifting it to would be an amazing stocking filler idea. And I feel like this is probably the most accessible and realistic and affordable kind of gift. You just go down to the supermarket and you pick some out. So that is everything for today's affordable stocking filler gift guide from BNM. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I said, these gifts are just ideas. You guys can go off with them and just buy whatever you guys want. I'm just here to help you guys out, give you some ideas and get you guys in the festive mood. I feel like just buying these things has definitely got me in the festive mood. And as you guys can see, I've decked out my background already. If you guys are interested soon, I will be actually decorating my whole house, the outside and the inside some point this week. So if you guys wanted to watch a really cozy Christmassy kind of vlog, make sure you guys head over to my second channel, Roxy and Matt, I will be posting on there very soon. I'm really hoping that Christmas is everything you guys wish for this year. I'm hoping that for you and also for my sake. Just because if Christmas is cancelled this year, I think I'll actually go mental. As always, if you guys are brand new here and you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you guys do. It's just the red button down below. Do it. You guys will not regret it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are all well and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!